John, welcome to Prague, first of all. Long journey over here for a fight. How's the preparation gone? What differences need to be uh, put into your fight camp to deal with such a long, long journey over? Well, there's not going to be really much to do. All I've got to make sure is I can go out there and perform on Saturday night. All I've been doing is walking around, staying up late, and uh, eating a lot of food. It's not a food part. Just, I'm making sure I'm living vicariously through my, my training partner. He's come through here and he's eating everything that I can't. So I'm making sure that I get to live through him. All these crazy donuts, desserts. I'm like, yo, eat it. He's like, what? Just eat it for me. Take one bite. That's all I need. Have you identified a particular dessert that you're going to attack once the uh, once the fight's finished? I don't know yet. I kind of want to try that weird little frog funnel cake looking thing. There's like a, it's like a cinnamon roll wrap. I don't know what it's called. Okay. Like I tried to ask somebody and they just looked at me like I was an idiot, which apparently I am because I'm in a foreign country and I don't know anything about it. And I was like, hey, what's this? They're like, no, don't ask questions. Okay. On to some actual questions about the fight. You've got John, <laughs> you've got uh, Peter Yan, who's he's burst onto the scene. Very, very uh, devastating punch. He's got a great record coming into the UFC. What have you made of his fight so far, having jumped onto the big stage? Well, he's done well, making sure everybody looks pretty much normal against him or even a little bit slower. But how is he going to get it? Somebody who's a better veteran, who's faster, throws, uh, has higher volume of punches, and we're going to see how well he does with my power against his. What do you make of the bantamweight division right now? Because you've got the champion wants to move down and challenge the flyweight champion again. So Hudo wants to move up and challenge Dillashaw for the bantamweight belt again. It's almost as if they should change weight classes, you know what I mean? So it's, 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 a, strange, it's a strange situation. What do you make of the whole title picture right now at 135? Well, it's weird because this whole time I knew TJ was going to go down to 125, but I wanted to be able to knock him out first so that I can move him down and I can be the king of the 135. Looks like a whole new plan. I'm gonna have to beat up TJ, make him move down, and then go ahead and beat up Marlon because Marlon's one sitting there running his mouth saying that he don't want to fight TJ because he lost to a little boy. But in like retrospect, Marlon didn't beat me because I knocked him out. I dropped him in the first round, took him down, controlled the whole fight, and he knows he knows just as well as I do. And you see all the back and forth going on involving involving TJ and whether it be Marlon or whether it be Henry. And in the back of your mind, you know you've already stopped. TJ before so what's your mindset when you see all of that sort of stuff going on all y'all just need to stop talking and let's start fighting like the easiest way for us to go out there and settle anything is go out there and do it with our fists and that's what I want to do so talk us through this weekend's fight break it down for us you're up against the guy who predominantly is a is a stand-up fighter uh, loves to stand and trade you're very elusive you move around you know you, you've, you've got the wrestling you've got the striking so how how do you break this one down against against PDM? Well, we're going to see how quick his hands can touch my fast body. I'm going to be moving faster than he was, and I'm going to be kind of short, or shorter and tighter angles than what he can adapt to quickly. So we'll see how fast he can, his eyes can move and how well his, his boxing defense is going to be against mine. Give us a prediction. How's it all going to pan out on fight night? Uh, it's going to end with my hand being raised, no matter if it's going to be knockout, submission, or, or basically decision. One more. We just had the face-offs. We had the whole thumbs up, thumbs down thing from uh, from PDN there. What did you make of all that? I was like, I don't know what the hell language barrier is, but it means, am I soaring so high that I'm plummeting down? Nah, that's okay. That's why I started laughing. I was like, I don't know what this is, but hey, good luck to you. <laughs>